ACT Demand Systems are one of the most sustainable products available to the homeowner in the last 20 years. ACT Demand Systems have been tested by the U.S. Department of Energy, proven to save both water and energy at a cost to you at less than $1 a year and a life expectancy of 15 to 20 years. ACT Demand Systems are the only plumbing products to have received the Certificate of Recognition from the U.S. Department of Energy. Most important, this product is American-made, developed by Americans with American technology. The average home could possibly waste 20 gallons of water per day waiting for hot water. Hello, my name is Philip Harris with ACWINC, a plumbing contractor. Today we're going to be installing the ACT Demand System, and I'd like to show you how it works. The ACT Demand Retrofit Kit comes with the following items. The STS-70 ACT Demand System Pump, two stainless steel flex lines, two brass tees, and one push button activator. Within the pump is a control board that tells the pump when to turn on and when to turn off. These are some of the tools that we need to install the pump. We have crescent wrench, standard screwdrivers, a pair of channel locks, a pair of cutters, and a roll of Teflon tape. In this installation, the tank is located in the basement approximately 60 feet away from the furthest fixture. The ACT demand system also works perfectly with the tankless water heater systems. In our installation today, one of the first things we need to do is shut off the main water valve leading into the house. Let's get started. The first thing we would like to do is to remove the braided lines that feed the hot and cold water to the faucet. The next thing, we need to break the collar here for the angle stops, and we'll remove those. I suggest also that we have small container to collect all the water. With the tees that supply with the demand system, we attach the tees to the pre-existing hot and cold lines. What we'd like to do at this time to make sure we have to secure a watertight seal is put some Teflon tape on the angle stop. After applying the Teflon tape and putting the angle stop in place, we reattach the braided lines which supplies the hot and cold water to the faucet. After putting the angle stops on the new tees, we take our pump, put Teflon tape around the ends, and also apply our adapters from a half inch to three quarter. We take our half inch to three quarter adapters and apply it to each side of our pump, the inlet and the outlet. Tighten it securely to make sure there is no water leaks. After putting the adapters on the, each side of the pump, we'll place the pump at the base of the cabinet. With the stainless steel flex lines, we'll attach one end to the T on the hot and one end also on the pump. It is important to note that the hot line needs to go to the inlet and the outlet of the pump will go into the cold water line. The demand system comes with three cables attached to the basic unit. The gray wire has three leads, a green, red, and black which is used for the accessory buttons that may be used for the physical pump. Also, a little bit longer line, this is to be used for the activation button. Red and black 
Lastly, the power cable plugs into a 110 outlet. After plugging in the electrical cord into the outlet, the pump would initiate and run for a short period of time. At this time, what we're going to do is place the activation button inside of the cabinet. For this, you'll need a 5 8 drill, With our hole drilled through our cabinet, 5 8 we'll fish the, wire, the gray wire with the two leads, red and black, through the hole and attach it to the activation button. Using a standard Phillips screwdriver, tighten down the leads to the physical button. Please remember that the orientation of the leads on the actual button itself really won't make that big of a difference. They can go in either one of the terminals. Now with this completed, we'll put the activation button into the physical hole we just previously drilled. The ACT demand system also comes with the receiver, as well as a wireless remote, which works up to 80 feet from the receiver. On the actual receiver itself, once again, we have three wires. We have the green, black, and the red wire. We're gonna attach the same corresponding colors to the actual pump itself using the supplied wire nuts. Now with the necessary connections all made, we can place the receiver on the back of the cabinet. We can secure it with a small screw and or Velcro. The ACT system, it also comes with the option of a wireless sensor. Two different styles. With these sensors, once you cross the beam, the pump will be activated. It's time to enjoy hot water. Start this job by closing off the gate valve, which supplies cold water to the building. With a crescent wrench, I remove the water supply tubing from the stops and then remove the stop. Then take this T fittings, which comes with the pump, and attach it to the pipe coming from the wall. At the other end of the T, I'll reattach the stop that I just removed. Now I can reconnect the riser that delivers the water to the faucet. It will take the flex line that comes with the pump and connect the T fitting to the pump which lies at the base of the cabinet. Now we install the button which starts the system. With a 5 8 inch drill bit, we're going to drill a hole in the cabinet where we want to install the button. We connect the two wires coming out of the system to the button. The button now should just snap into place. ACT demand systems meet all of the national and international electric and plumbing codes including UL Electrical, Uniform Plumbing Codes, CSA Canadian, CE International and the Australian Watermark. Demand systems also meet every major green building code in the nation, including LEEDS credits, NHAB green building credits, international codes, and is recommended by the Energy Star and WaterSense programs. Enjoy your new way of living and the savings that go with it. As the saying goes, now is the time to get into hot water.